Well, well, well. Hello, you beautiful people. Today, we've got something really special going on. And that thing is that we're going to be building a brand new bone meal farm. And that's going to produce 20,000 bone meal an hour for us. Now, i got to say, the moss farm that we're using is very impressive. But I have taken the liberty of changing it. A main thing I've done is I've gotten rid of a lot of the unnecessary redstone components from it. I've also removed the shulker box loader and I've made the redstone just use less redstone. Now these human beings, are they human beings? Now these human beings have done a lot of research into this moss farming stuff and they definitely know their stuff. As you can see, it is putting out a bit of moss, but it's just started. After a little bit, all of this moss will end up getting all the way down to here and we will be producing over 20,000 bone meal an hour. So now we're back in the survival world and I am currently using a structure and this allows us to have a rendered version of the entire farm in the survival world before it's built and it also gives us material lists for everything we need. And I have all that prepared today. We got a lot of junk, but all this junk's gonna make this. Now you might be wondering, how am I gonna build this if it's already got the full farm? Well, I thought ahead and I've built it layer by layer. Currently, this armor stand is named Full Farm, but if I break it, you can see it disappears. Now that is because I have tied this particular structure to the name tag of Full Farm farm place that on this armor stand it will make the full farm put the number one and we have ourselves the first layer to build now the plan was to make a time lapse of me building the thing behind me but um yeah i was running on like no sleep and i just ended up recording as i was building so um this will be interesting um i'll see you in a bit and then we need some soul sand got ourselves some soul sand i need to go up a professional minecrafter two there we go up where it needs to be did i forget to bring stairs there is no wood there is no wood there is no wood what's in here <gasps> acacia stairs one two bum 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 that is layer two done. Instructions said solder blocks. I did not understand that part, so I'm putting glass. Uh, brain cells. Stage three done. Four. That is a lot of hoppers. <laughs> okay. Upsy daisies. You're getting out of reach for me. Five. We have lava. That is looking good. Now some of you might be wondering if I've chunk aligned this. I have. <gasps> it's the sunrise. I've been working all night. I am tired. <laughs> that layer is done. What are we up to? I ran out of pistons. Oh no. I have more. Everything's fine. Why is there a button there? There's a great question. Why is there a button here? Um, we might need to go higher. Can we get much higher? Well, I'm gonna cover up the um, lava at least. Safety compliance. Protect stupid people from falling in the lava. Safety compliance. I am one of them stupid people. It's so unusual. It doesn't feel like I finished the farm, but I finished the farm. Way, no way. It's working on the first. It's working on the first try, people. So yeah, I managed to build the farm with no sleep, and um, I don't recommend it because when I woke up in the morning, I realised there was a few things I forgot. It's working now though. So here you can see that the farm is now complete, and I've also added in a little bit of a water stream system that. I've designed that I'm going to be using for the entirety of all the redstone in this district. As you can see this is the kind of design I want to go for my water streams in the redstone district and if I put an item through here it will flow through, jump over so that way items do not merge and it will flow back through. So if I ever need to do crossroads the items will be perfectly aligned and not do things that I don't want them to do. And between that I've also done some work on the world just playing regularly and what I've done is I've gotten rid of the platform that was up there and I've moved all the storage down here and I've also got some copper oxidizing which is almost done actually which is pretty good because I actually need that for a project I'm working on. First thing though I need to grab all this copper. Zoink, bump, bamp, bada boom, skibbity, 
Boom. A little bit of copper, not too much. I'm going to need a lot more though for the project I'm going to be building, but we'll get over there soon. What you might notice is that we've got some villagers over here and actually if we follow this rail, you can see that we have a few villagers over here and these are trading for redstone. Here we are, we're finally nearing the location. Bam. Here we have a guardian temple and you might be wondering what does one do with a guardian temple well you turn it into a farm of course i have cleared out a lot of the icebergs around the area because well they're kind of in the way for what i need to do to build the farm to give you an idea of how much ice i've mined from these icebergs all of these chests are full of ice and so of these ones so you can see like this one's full of ice this one's full of ice this one's and then you got junk in here so yeah, we, we've been mining a little bit. We've just been mining quite a lot of it. And um, I've been doing a lot of mining and um, I've cleared a bit. Now you might be wondering about all these white pillars. All these white pillars are actually in the perfect spot to block off the guardian spawns. Now we will be replacing these pillars with these behind me. And these are redstone controlled nether portals because the farm I'm building is a two-way guardian farm that way I don't have guardians going to the nether when I don't have a player over there because then I'll actually like have problems because there's like hundreds and hundreds of guardians there that aren't getting killed now I'm not too sure if I'll be building the entire design of this farm you can see that there's a lot of copper here a lot of copper being used in this entire project and I don't really have the capacity to get a lot of it again but I mean, I could, I could, we could. There's a lot of copper, it's a lot of copper. It's a lot of copper. Now this guardian farm was actually finished up and done on the old advanced automation server. Now, unfortunately this server is now, well, pretty much dead because of reasons, but I was very lucky to be able to design most of this guardian farm and well, enslave most of the members to get it done. <laughs> I did help out a lot though. But yeah, I'd really like to be able to build this on my survival world and pay homage to the old AA server. Also, I really love these statues, how they're just kind of staring at you all the time. Now, some of you keen-eyed viewers might actually notice that there is a lot of warped wood in this build. And when I say a lot of warped wood, I mean there's warped wood, there's warped wood, wood, more warped wood. I'm going to need a tree farm for warped wood to be able to build this. The other thing too is I will not be building it to this grander scale. I'll be trimming it back because I actually want to incorporate a squid farm inside of the guardian farm as well. So yeah, we got some plans for this area and the best part is that we're completely surrounded by ice, meaning this will definitely be a full 100% winter styled build. I love it. Now before we go, I do actually want to get these portals in. So um, let me get that done. All right, that's all the portals in place. The only thing we need to do is the center one, which is a little bit different, but first we need to take out this temple first, which I'll do at a later date. But we do need to actually light all these portals up, so... It's a beautiful day in the world of Minecraft. Lighting portals. Breaking ice. It's a great life. Alright, and that's all the portals lit. Now the only thing left for me to do is to get rid of this temple. And, um, well, I will do that in my own time. Now something we do need to do though is find the exact coordinates I'm standing on, but in the nether. And to do that, we divide the current coordinates by 8. Now I'm not going to travel through these nether portals. That would be a bad idea because I want them all centering up and linking up to a center portal in the nether. Drifting through the sky. We go through this tree line here and then we take a left and then alright we'll have the nether portal haha I believe 350 is that way negative 93 negative 93 is that way and 350 is that way if we light this it should connect all the portals and bring us back to the guardian farm hey so if we've come through that one if we go through the furthest one from there which will be this one it should link back to that one yo let's go that's working okay so now that that's done we now have our working nether portal set up for our guardian farm the other great thing is that our portals for our house is just over there and you can see the portal for the guardian farm is just here so it's not actually too far from all of those now that we've got that done there's one more thing I want to show you guys and that is these boxes right here these boxes are all the materials I need to build the raid farm that's right my sim 10 
12,000 emerald raid farm. So in a future video, we will be able to get started on building that raid farm because my emerald supplies are getting low. That being said, that is still quite a lot of emeralds. I've also designed a flower farm. Now this is originally what I was gonna go for where you had pistons pushing back and forth and bone mail working, but I just didn't like that. So I went and made this next one. You can see we are getting quite a lot of flowers, but I designed a better one. After doing some funky shenanigans with this, I ended up with this final design here. You can see that we are producing quite a lot of flowers. Now this particular design was inspired by a comment by someone on Discord saying that someone else had built a farm using weird item transfer mechanics and pistons pushing down. And I was just like, interesting. I reckon I could do something like that. And um, well, I have this farm, so I'm not too sure whether or not it's similar to the one the other person built, but it works and it produces over 100,000 flowers an hour. Yeah, so this flower farm I actually want to build in my survivor world as well because, well, I need dye, I need flowers, and I need all sorts of other things. So we're going to hook that up to the bone meal farm, but we'll leave all that till the next episode. So I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one, and this time I'm going to say stay frosty. <laughs> Toodles!